You can easily regrade quiz questions if you make a mistake and use the wrong answer as the correct one. You can also give students that have completed the quiz credit for a question that you feel was not fair. To do this, click on the Submission Review tab on the navbar, click Quizzes. Click on the context menu next to the quiz you wish to um, make changes to the questions. Click Grade. Click the Questions tab. Click the radio button next to Update All Attempts. Click on the name of the question you wish to regrade. On the next screen you're going to see the question. You're going to see the answer choices with an arrow next to the icon to show you the correct answer and a graph showing you the, st the percentage of the students choosing each answer. So this can be an indication of what, what you need to do with each one of these questions. Now you have two choices. One is to give to all attempts. This means that each student um, receives the number of points the question is worth regardless of their answer. So in a sense you're throwing out the question but giving the students credit. The second choice is to give two attempts with answer. This allows you to change the answer choice from the one provided when the student took the quiz. In other words, in this particular case, you made a mistake and you want to correct that mistake and give the students credit for the, for the correct answer. So to give all attempts, we put the point value in for each of the question, click Save, in the confirmation box, click Yes. You'll get a confirmation that it's saved. Click Go to back to the question and repeat the steps if you need to regrade another question. So in my case, I'm going to go ahead and regrade another question. So I click on the name of the question. In this case, I'm going to click on the radio button next to Give to Attempts with Answer. In the drop-down, I'm going to choose the answer that I know that was the correct one, which, and again, the correct one here was one. That was my mistake. It meant to be two, so I choose two. I put the point value in there. I click Save, click Yes. If I scroll down, you'll notice the notif modifications log will tell me kind of what's happened there. And I click go back to the questions. And again, I can do another question if I want, or when I'm done, just click close.